Safi bwana mambo vipi? Karibu niweze kukupasha yale ambayo yameweza kujiri. Rais William Samuiruto ameweza kupokea habari ambazo si nzuri kutoka kwa msali mdavadi pamoja na viongozi ambao wanamzingira kutoka western part of Kenya kwa kila ambacho William Samuiruto yupo mbioni kuweza kufifisha vyama kutoka upande wa western part ile kuweza kuhakikisha chama cha wilbaro cha UDA kinatawala pekee viongozi kutoka upande wa western part of Kenya wameweza kumwambia wewe chungana na chama chako cha UDA lakini chama cha Mulembe vyama vya Mulembe achana navyo kabisa nataka niweze kukuelezea kila kitu mtazamaji wangu kila ambacho kimeweza kujiri na ni sababu gani ambayo imeweza kusababisha msale mdavadi pamoja na viongozi wa ambao wanamzingira kutoka Mulembe kuweza kukataa kuweza kusikia uh, rai zake William Samuiruto kwamba waweze kuachana na vyama vyao waweze ku, kujiunga kwenye wilbaro ya chama cha UDA jina langu nafahamika kama Mr Eagle 8 ichindi cho kituo chako pekee hapa nchini ambacho kinakusogezea matukio ambayo ni legit Yani legit. Chukua sekunde hii moja uweze kujiandikisha kama mwanafamilia. Uh, ili uweze kujiandikisha kama mwanafamilia unapiga tu subscription alafu na bunyeza kengele yani una turn on notification bell. Upande wa kushoto kuna penya ambapo wameweza kukwambia kwamba like tafadhali tekeleza hilo. Alafu ukitaka watu wengi waweze kupata ujumbe huu tafadhali na kuomba uweze kushare kuelekea kwa grupu nyingi waweze kujua kwamba Msalem Davadi ameweza kukataa a uh, uh, kuweza kupewa uh, viji shawishi naye Rais William Samoiruto. Mweza kusikia mtazamaji wangu. Mwana William Samoiruto yupo mbioni kuweza kuhakikisha kwamba anabaki maarufu peke yake na chama cha UDA kipindi ambapo tunaelekea katika uchaguzi wa mwaka 2027. Mweza kuona hataki aende kupata pingamizi kubwa zaidi na hataki aende kupata amvutano pande hii na pande hii uh, kipindi cha kura uh, za mwaka 2027 upande wa Mulembe Nation mtazamaji wangu ambapo tuko na viongozi kama vile Francis Atuli tuko na viongozi kama vile Msali Mdavadi tuko na national speaker ambaye ni Moses Wetangura pamoja na viongozi wengine ambao tunaelewa Msali Mdavadi yako na chama chake cha ANC Amani National Coalition a uh, tuko na Afford Kenya chake Moses Witangura pamoja na vyama vingine kutoka upande wa Mulembe Nation. So, bwana William Samuiruto anataka vyama hivi viweze kukoa dissolved na Mulembe Nation iweze kubaki na chama kimoja. Chama cha UDA. Lakini kutoka Mulembe Nation viongozi wameweza kumsomea bwana William Samuiruto bila ya kumuogopa weza kumwambia kwamba sisi hatuwezi kukua kama viongozi wa chama cha ODM wale ambao akina chalango akina jalango ambao uliweza kuwapea visenti ukaweza kuwanunua eti kwamba tuweze kuingia kwa chama chako ili uweze kututreat venye unataka muweza kusikia mtazamaji wangu <laughs> unajua bwana William Sabiruta ameweza kupiga calculated movie ya mwaka 2027 Anataka kama ni Western Part kama ni upande wa Kakamega anataka kama ni chama cha ugavana yani kiti cha ugavana uh, yule ambaye ataenda kusimama kiti cha ugavana anasimama kutoka kwa chama cha UDA kama ni MCA UDA kama ni MP UDA hiyo ndiye anataka in short hiyo ndiye anataka lakini wameweza akumwambia kwamba hilo haliwezi likawezekana kabisa days after calls by UDA to have Kenya kwanza constituent parties fold up and join the UDA party Salem Davadis ANC party has refuted the calls wameweza kukataa kabisa wamemwambia kwamba hiyo haiwezekani this was after UDA party secretary general Cleophas Malala president William Samuiruto challenged the ANC and we thank Rais for the Kenya party is to dissolve and join UDA as one a way of forming one mega party ahead of 2027 general polls. Yaani wanataka waweze kutupilia vyama hivi vingine ambavyo vinaungana kuweza kuunda uh, kuweza kuunda serikali ya UDA. 
unaweza kusikia mtazamaji wangu unajua <laughs> uh, William Samoe Ruto anakuwa mjanja tena mjanja zaidi na viongozi hao kutoka Western part of Kenya na hao wameweza kumgundua kwamba wewe William Samoe Ruto endelea kuwadanganya wa Kenya lakini sio sisi wa chama cha eh, ANC kutoka upande wa Western part of Kenya unajua William Samoe Ruto anataka kutumia zile nyadifa ambazo aliweza kupea msali mdavadi pamoja na Moses Wetangura ili kuweza ku dissolve hizi vyama ama hivi vyama viwili what about kesho kuharibike tena wale watatoka kwa hizi nyadifa ambazo wameweza kushikilia waenda kuunda vyama vyao unajua once chama kimeweza kuwa dissolved kimekuwa dissolved hakuna kukifufua tena Maybe ukitaka kuunda chama kingine unaenda kuunda chama kingine. Mfano, unakumbuka chama cha Rais Mustafa Uhuru Kenyatta TNA pamoja na cha William Samoe Ruto URP. Viliweza ku dissolve vyama vyao wakakuja pamoja wakaunda chama ambacho kilikuwa kijajulikana kama Jubilee. Na ndio maana uliona William Samoe Ruto aliweza kutoka kwa Jubilee akaenda kuunda chama chake. Hakuna kwenda kufufua kile chama ambacho kiliweza kufifishwa. So hawa wameweza kuona kwamba mm -mm, tukiweza kufifisha hichi chama leo kesho huenda kukaharibika. Kesho tutatumia chama gani ili kuweza kutaka kunyakua uh, uongozi kutoka kwa serikali. But in a statement by ANC Kakamega County Minority Leader David Ndakwa, there are no talks or agreement to half ANC join UDA. ANC said their party will remain intact adding that The main reason they will not fold is that ANC is a crucial for Musalim Davadi as it acts as his beginning power in Kenyan's government. Mmeweza kusikia kisingizia ambacho wameweza kutoa kwamba hawawezi waka dissolve chama ambacho kinafahamika kama ANC. Wanataka kukitumia kama nguvu ambayo watatumia kuweza kubagain kuweza kutaka maendeleo kutoka kwa utawala wa Bwana Ruto, kuweza kutaka nyadifa fulani kutoka kwa utawala wa Kenya kwanza. Na ndio maana Msalim Davadi of course aliweza kujiondoa kwa chama cha ANC lakini yupo kule. Yupo kule. Na ndio maana William Samoe Ruto anaona mm -mm, nikiweza kuacha hichi chama hapa, huenda kwenda hapa bali nikaweza kupata matatizo. Wataezaenda kutumia hichi chama waweze kunipokonya maendeleo mengi zaidi. Umeweza kusikia mtazamaji wangu? Eh ni si said It is the ANC party that gave Musalim Davadi his prime cabinet secretary seat after the August 2022 polls and that it is going to give him another powerful post after 2027 general polls hence uh, the need to keep it alive. Mweza kusikia ah watu wamepiga akili mbali tena zaidi. So wameona kwamba huu wadhifa ambao Musalim Davadi anashikilia sasa hivi haujaweza kutosha mboga wameweza kusema kwamba hichi chama chao kitaendelea kusalia kikiwa hai na uchaguzi wa mwaka 2027 utakapokamilika pap watatumia hichi chama cha Musalim Davadi kuweza kutaka nyadifa kubwa je wataenda kutaka nyadifa ya deputy president kwa sababu mweza kusikia wameweza kusema kwamba watatumia hichi chama cha ANC kuweza kutaka mamlaka makubwa kuweza kutaka maendeleo mengi upande wa western part of Kenya unanielewa Wacha nikuulize swali kwanza mtazamaji wangu. Sauti yangu iko kilia? Hmm? Sijui kama hii mic yangu imeweza kuharibika. <laughs> Sijui kama imeweza kuharibika kwa sababu kuna dada zetu pamoja na ndugu zetu katika kanda ambayo iko hapa chini walikuwa wana complain kwamba hakuna sauti ndio unauliza sauti iko kama iko. Rais Mukono niambie kama sauti iko mtazamaji wangu ndio tuweze kuendelea mbele. Asante tena zaidi. Mweza kuona mtazamaji wangu. The goal is to support William Samoe Ruto until 2032. Iyo 2032 ataf... nani alimwambia 2027 atapita kwenye uchaguzi but to do that we need to we need the village parties for gaining power uh, that is our that is our leader Salim Davadi got his seat in the government hmm? we will not dissolve ANC Kenya kwanza is a coalition of parties not a single party like Azimio ndakwa stated According to ANC the outfit is, is important to Musalim Davadi as it gives him beginning power in the government 2027. Sasa wacha niulize huyu naye ameweza kukosea kidogo sitakangi mtu ambaye anachokonoa na kuweza kuchokora muungano wa Azmiu kwa sababu mimi ni supporter wa huko na mimi niko na majibu ya kuweza kumpea haraka iwezekanavyo. 
huyu ndakwa anasema kwamba itawataki muungano wa Kenya kwanza uwe kama muungano wa azimio kwani muungano wa azimio ni chama kimoja ni chama kimoja ndio nauliza ndakwa inaonekana kwamba hajaweza kugundua kwamba muungano wa azimio uko na chama kama vile ODM uko na chama vile kama Jubilee uko na chama kama vile Wiper pamoja na vyama vingine sasa ndakwa yeye yupo Kenya gani kipindi ambapo hajui kwamba muungano wa Azimio moja wa Kenya umeweza kuunganishwa na vyama vingi ndakwa na kuuliza kama unanisikiliza wewe uko Kenya gani kipindi hujui kwamba muungano wa Azimio unajumlisha vyama vingi anyway wao wanasema kwamba wataki kudissolve chama hichi kwa sababu wanataka kiweza kubaki kama eh, bag, eh, bargaining power ili ifikapo mwaka 2027 na ah, saba waweze kutumia chama hicho kuweza kubargain. ANC expressed its fear saying by dissolving the party Msalia will become less relevant ahead of 2027 polls. Msalia, uh, Mr. Mdakwa maintain that Msalia will uh, retain his party even after 2027 general polls as he prepares uh, self for 2022 takeover. Uh, 2032 kuniradi. Uh, during his recent tour at Kakamega Fort Kilofas Malala the former Kakamega senator had sec uh, and the secretary general of United Democratic Alliance issued a bold call to political heavyweights Musalim Davadia and the National Assembly speaker Wetangula Malala urged them to relinquish their hold on their respective parties and join the ruling National Party UDA Unajua acha nikuambie nyumba ambayo imeweza kukulisha siku ya leo haipaswi uweze kuidharau kesho Okay wacha nikuweke hivi mtazamaji wangu. Ile kampuni ambayo umeweza kuifanya kazi siku ya leo au itaji kuweza kuidharau kesho. Kwa sababu uwezo kajua kesho kutwa venye kutaenda, unaweza karudi kwa hiyo kampuni, unaweza karudi kwa hiyo kampuni. Hapa namrejelea Cleophas Malala ambaye anaita chama cha NC kwamba ni village party eti kwamba waweze kutupilia village party mbali waweze kujiunga na UDA kwa sababu yeye ni uh, secretary general what about kesho mambo yaweze kumharibikia mambo yaweze kumharibikia kama Rafael Tuju atakuwa anafanya nini atakuwa anafanya nini anyway mtazamaji wangu wazo lako ni lipi baada ya chama cha ANC pamoja na Ford Kenya kuweza kudeliver bad news kuelekea kwake William Samoei Ruto kwa kuweza kumwambia pana uh, kwamba hapana kwa kuweza kumwambia kwamba hapana hatuwezi tuka dissolve hatuwezi tukavunja vunja vya mavietu vya Ford Kenya pamoja na NC ili tuweze kujiunga na chama chako cha UDA umeweza kusikia wanasema kwamba wanataka kutumia chama hichi kama uh, uh, bargaining power kuweza kujinyakulia wajifa mwaka elfu mbili na ishirini na saba je unaona kwamba hatua hii itaweza kuathiri umaarufu wa William Samoei Ruto ama itaweza kuathiri umaarufu wa chama cha UDA upande wa western part of Kenya ikiwa mtazamaji wangu uko na wazo ningekuwa ni vizuri uweze kutuambia kupitia kwa kitengo cha commenting section alafu mtazamaji wangu nimeweza kurejea kwako tunataka kuweza kujenga ka a podcast mtazamaji wangu kama hako ambako unaona hapo na mimi mwenyewe siwezi nikaweza kwa sababu kibarua ambacho nakifanya ni kibarua cha shilingi tatu kwa siku. Ha, nikiendelea ku save 200 kwa siku mtazamaji wangu ili tuweze kujenga ka studio kama haka ka podcast ambacho kana cost 10,000 na kamera ya 55,000 nimeweza kurejea kwako nikiweza kukuomba mtazamaji wangu mia yako ambayo utaweza kuchangia siku ya leo hamsini yako ambayo utaweza kuchangia tafadhali itaweza kulindwa kwa hii namba hii namba hakuna mwenye anaifungua hakuna mwenye atauza pesa zako ili mradi tuweze kujenga kuka studio tuweze kuhabarishana na kuweza kuwapashana eh, kutoka kwa hapo ndani na kuomba usicheze mbali 